Okay. Hey, call the meeting to order. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wait, Wait one second. We our clerk had to step out. So I don't have to keep the minutes. Same. Unchanged. Excuse me. Sorry. This is the official meeting. Or can we talk? I'll have to ask the chair. It's official now. I'll start taking minutes to cheer you. Yeah, I don't like it. We get through this night. So department head. Department head updates first. Chief Sharp, I knew I should have sent a letter. So, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so summer's been busy for us. Uh, we have uh, our newest cruiser is finally up and running after all the parts that were waiting to come in all in and installed, and it's officially on the road now, which is a huge plus. Uh, we had to replace in our 21 cruiser. We had to replace the complete exhaust system, which. Um, just the exhaust alone was, I think it was somewhere around $1,500. Uh, kind of unexpected. Past the warranty date, um, but it's they're not built like they used to. So um, that, that was down for a little bit because that had to come from somewhere that they had to wait for. Um, I think since the last time we spoke, um, Officer Kennison has gone with uh, Michael's construction company. Um, since then, uh, Officer Havilotti has given his notice. He's going to the Sheriff's Department here in town. Um, it's, not for, it's not for money because he's got a six cents raise. Um, it's more for the convenience of working a day shift. Uh, he's going to have a cruiser at home, things like that, Monday through Friday. So it's kind of like a, a retirement job, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, doing police work. So, um, so he's going to be full time. I'm sorry. I didn't even know they hired him full time. They do, and he will be a full time. Yes, he is actually going to do the. So oh, I'm chairman of the delegation. I didn't even know that. <laughs> really, you missed it. I know I didn't miss any meetings. Um, the, um, didn't tell me that. The state police, because of their manpower, has been uh, always tasked with the crimes that happen at the jail uh, in Stewartstown, and for quite some time that they, the sheriff's department has done it with their help. Uh, it's a jurisdictional issue, and uh, Anthony will be doing that. Um, he'll do fine at it. Okay. So we do have uh, two other people that have stepped up to the plate and brought in applications that are very viable for us. Okay. Uh, we've started the process on both of them, um, and they both come along very well. So I suspect within the next, well, when the, when the process is completed, I suspect that they would, uh, with the blessing of the Town manager, I suspect that they'd be off the job because um, they certainly fit the bill for it. Um, that's all we have for, for updates there. All right, thank you. Ellis Timson, it's been, it's been a normal, well, <coughs> busy summer, but um, last month we did 192 calls, we had EMS flies. 125 of those were uh, transfers, 67 were 911 calls. Um, as far as the fire department is concerned, we've done uh, five, 11 fire calls. Um, vehicles are in pretty decent shape. They've been going through those for inspection. Uh, no major issues. Just fortunately, simple things like light bulbs. And, normal stuff like that. Um, as far as MIH, um, that's starting to pick up quite a bit. Uh, they did last month 37 visits. Uh, already to date, they've done 48 this month. Um, and it's and it's picking up every, every week, it seems like, which is good. Um, other than that, business as usual. All the fairs coming up, in case nobody knew that. So Tim's group and our group will be busy up there. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Um, 
of our summer program in the last week, you know, we're gearing up for the fall. Um, so, a new set of programs in place. We're still trying to work with the school district to get a bus to come back to the library. That's still not something that sounds like it's going to work this year, but we're still hoping that that will resume again. Um, Commonwealth has promised us they would deal with the window sill issue in the back of the library before fall. Other than that, that's where we're at. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Eli is not here. He said he, he was going to try to make it. He, soccer started today. Um, he had 200 sign-ups. <laughs> so it's very, very busy. So he said he would try to make it. Practice is supposed to get over around 6.30, but when you're wrangling that many kids and parents, um, it's not easy. But he did say that, that this is the last week of the pool being open. Here he is now. Oh, good. Then I'll stop. Coming talking. in with the whistle on. <laughs> <laughs> See, you talk about somebody that works in the building. Right? I, I, started, <laughs> I, started, I started, Eli, so I'll let you finish. Okay. Ah, yes, yeah, sir. I'm wearing a, a whistle just to. Uh, I'm not about that. Um, yeah, so we just got done our first soccer. Uh, third and fourth, we had um, just over 200 kids sign up for soccer this year uh, between the youngest and the oldest, um, which is good, but um, thankfully we have enough coaches and everything, um, so that's good. Um, closing out our last week for Summer Safe Haven uh, this week, um, and then we are closing out the pool after this week as well, lifeguards and all that, um, college, all that fun stuff, um, so we're getting that ready, and yeah, just staying uh, very busy with children and uh yeah i'm tired sorry <laughs> i'm sure you've there. now all the oxygen left in my head if uh if i may i had a family gathering at the community camps last weekend and that place is awesome up there. i think it's so underutilized al was great to deal with um it was just it was beautiful up there. Kudos to the crew out there that keeps it nice and clean. And, yeah, I thought it was awesome. Thank you. We are, um, I may have said it last one, but we are working um, with the trails committee to um, get those trails back up to their, their form that they have not been in in a while. Uh, and they're going to work with us for um, just crossings and uh, signage hopefully as well so um, some nice wooden signs um, to make sure that it is um, more known and as well utilized as possible as well as putting some of the playground equipment we didn't have to use um, since the new one's going in um, so but thank you yeah definitely Al does a good job of anything else Thanks. You guys free to go? Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for thank hustling you. over. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, on to old business, we have two sets of minutes for August 7th and August 17th. I make a motion to accept August 7th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And August 17th, I don't think you were here, Troy, right? No. I make a motion to accept. A second. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll abstain. Aye. Aye.
Next item is uh, the timber tax warrant uh, for Ken and Stacy Tatro, 47 Flaherty Road. Tax due is $1,072.19. Sign the front and sec second page. I'm wearing the black. I'm wearing the black. That's all right. I remember. I almost ran out of items there. Probably going to have to hold it for you. <laughs> Study. I think you've gone too far. I did. First and second page. Oh, just first and second? Yeah. Keep spitting on your fingers and then have put rubber gloves on the handle. Yeah. Right. business now. Uh, we have two energy committee appointments to consider as a point. Um, I think we, we mentioned at the last meeting we have uh, Terry Anderson who is here um, and Leanne Potter who has been in some previous meetings. They, um, these letters of interest have been in your packets. Uh, I believe it, a couple meetings ago you, when you guys voted to create the energy committee we talked about a five member committee which includes the selectman's rep, which I'm sure you are the selectman's rep. So this would bring us to three, and we still need to look for two more. You want a motion for each separate one? Or? Um, sure. Make a motion to appoint Terry Anderson to the Energy Committee. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Can we, uh, that's a good point. What was that? For a term, Terry mentioned a term. Um, I would say for a term of three years. Three years, yeah. All right, so if we're, so and I don't know if we discussed that before, are we going to point them all for three years? And then no, not? I, so, so if you're going to do it, do these two for three you years. Do these you have three, the next ones, you can do two, two and then one. one. Right. So okay. two will always come up at so the same I time. So I can modify that to a three-year term and then... I'll make a motion to appoint Leanne Potter to a three-year term on the Energy Committee. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Now we have a scheduled meeting. Great. Um, next is information in your packets. You have the schedule of the Highway Block Grant monies for uh, State Fiscal Year 24 goes from July to 2023 to April 2024. There's a notice of planning board meeting. And then we have a few land use permits. One for Wayne and Trisha Fernet, 96 Asia Road to construct a 20 by 30 foot pavilion on concrete slab. Meeting all setbacks. We have Dayton and Lisa Rivers at 45 Middle Street. To demo an existing 7 by 16 foot EPF that is, and reconstruct a stick built 12 by 24 open porch with shingle roof, leaving all setbacks. And close the porch front. I think it's front, but I don't think it's front. Thank you. 
uh, Lisa and James Hampton, 80, uh, 8 Rowell Road, inter interior renovations to their kitchen. And the last one is <coughs> Justin and Christina Bishop at 223 Summer Street to remove a 6 by 13 porch and replace it with a stick built 6 by 10 open porch with metal roof, all on cement pillars. That's all I got. Yeah. I've got a couple of things. Uh, one of them, and I don't know, at the end of Mayberry Lane, there's been a pothole there all summer. And I don't know if there's, it's in the state right away or if it's in, but there's a hole at the end of what actually should be Mayberry Lane, and it needs to be taken care of. That's, I don't know if that's, I think that's a private road. It is, but it is still within the state's right away. So, I, and like I said, I don't know if it's supposed to be the state's responsibility or the town's responsibility, but I've heard about it several times, so. It's right at the white line. Yeah, so I'm yeah. just bringing it to attention. I don't know if you can call them up and say, hey. I can ask. Yeah. And then. What will probably end up happening is we'll see The street that runs by what used to be the grain store, Merrimack Grain Store, are we repaving that this year, or? Which street? Depot. 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 That would be depot. Yeah. I'm, I always get the two depot and railroad. That is not one we're, we're paving this year. Again, if we're not going to repave it, we need to take care of the holes that are in it because there's a lot of holes in that okay. stretch, and I hate to spend money if we're going to redo yep. something, but it's. <coughs> That one's pretty bad, and I've been hearing about it for the last few weeks from okay. residents. Nope, I'll mention it too. The highway for so, and that was the two things that I had. You will not be here Wednesday for the planning board. No, I'll be here. Robin was confused. It was, okay. It was last week that which you know, when originally it was going to be last Wednesday. I was away in Maine. So I don't need to cover it. You can come, hang out. <laughs> okay. We're glad to have you. All right. <laughs> okay. Just want a clarification. Anything else? I've got nothing else. Nothing else? From the public? From the public or? I guess I'll entertain a motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to adjourn. It's 649. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, it's how we do it. It's how we roll. <laughs>